Hello you guys, welcome to today's video. So we are gonna be doing a what I eat in the day and then I'm also just gonna show you guys a quick brief workout that I like doing. This video was actually highly requested. So I'm really excited to film it for you guys. And this is in no way, shape or form saying this is how you have to eat, this is what you should eat, this is what's gonna make you healthy. This is just personally what I eat throughout the day and um, what I found is a balanced diet, not diet, but like balanced food choices for myself. But yeah, I'm so excited to film this for you guys. I just got in my workout attire and we are going to go downstairs to the gym. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So first thing, as you guys saw, I like to start my mornings off with water. I just started adding lemon in it recently. I used to add lemon in it like a lot, but I completely just stopped doing it and I picked it back up again. This is something that I've been incorporating and want to continue doing because I know lemon has a lot of good benefits, especially when you're drinking it first thing in the morning, so. And we are all ready for the gym. I'm actually going to take my shoes off to walk on the treadmill because last time I got such bad blisters from these shoes. So I'm just going to walk barefoot, which I think is fine and I normally wouldn't do, but my blisters hurt too much right now, so. Okay, so the first workout that I like to start doing once I get to the gym is a workout called 12 3:30. So, it's 12 incline, 3 speed for 30 minutes on the treadmill, and it is such a good workout. It makes me so tired at the end of it. Okay, so these are called Bulgarian squats, I'm pretty sure, and these are a glute burner. I hate these because they burn so much, but you can tell that they're working, so I also love them at the same time. But yeah, these are just so good if you really want to feel that burn. Next, I'm moving into hip thrusts. These are kind of self-explanatory. Usually, I'd use a bar and do a lot more weight, but my apartment gym doesn't have a bar yet, so I was just using a 50-pound weight, and these are such a good glute burner as well. I'm pretty sure these are called cave bowl kickbacks. These are just so good and I honestly love these so much. They also burn a lot and I feel like they're just really good and target the glue area really well. Now I'm just doing squats. I don't like doing too much weight on squats just because it hurts my knees to be honest over time. So I just like doing squats with a lighter weight and higher reps. Okay, so now we kind of have a full body thing going on. I'm lifting this medicine ball with my arms and then squatting it down. I have no idea what this one's called, but I love the way that this makes me feel and how this burns all over. Like it leaves my arm sore, my leg sore. It does everything for me. Finishing off with some abs. I love doing this at the end of my workout. I basically just put a medicine ball or a weight in between my legs and then you can kind of see what I'm doing. And this burns so bad, I can barely laugh the next day. And yeah, so that's my little workout that I did that day. I kind of like to switch it up every single time I go to the gym, but those are my favorite exercises. Okay, I just got back from the gym and I'm completely ravenous for food. This happens to me every time I don't eat anything before I work out because sometimes if I do, I feel nauseous. If I do, it'll be something light like a fruit, but I wasn't even hungry for a fruit before I went to go work out and now I'm just ravenous for food. So we are now gonna make a protein fruit smoothie and then I'm also gonna make that with some eggs, I think. Maybe toast or something, we'll see. But I'm gonna show you guys my smoothie recipe that you have seen probably at least 45 times on this channel before so it's nothing really new but anyways okay so for today's choice of fruit we are only putting in mangoes and bananas because usually i'll put in like two fruits mangoes and strawberries or whatever we have at the moment and with half a banana but today we only have mango since we ran out of strawberries so it's fine it's gonna taste the exact same anyway so i'm just gonna use half a banana and then some mango i get these at costco these are organic frozen fruit bags frozen fruit is honestly the cheapest at costco so i would recommend going there if you guys are looking i just kind of eyeball this smoothie i don't really have any specific measurements so you guys can just like see visually what i do so yeah i just put half a banana in so next up i'm putting this vegan organic protein powder it also has a few servings of vegetables in it as well so I really like this stuff, just putting it in my smoothies. So next I'm gonna add kale. It's not always kale that I put in my smoothies, it's actually usually spinach, but kale is what we have at the moment. I actually don't have any spinach. 
So I just like to put some sort of green in here. I just put a bit of maple syrup to sweeten it. And then I will put a little bit of oat milk. I don't like to do the whole thing with oat milk. I'll just get a little bit of it in there to make sure that it's creamy. And then I will fill the rest with water. Okay, so I'm gonna make scrambled eggs right now. I'm just gonna do two. I usually always do two eggs, just because I feel like that's the perfect amount for me. Now I'm just gonna take some kale and mix it in. I just love having some sort of green in my eggs as well. It's just an easy way to sneak it in. So this is the oil that I use to spray my pan whenever I'm cooking something that needs spray. So I get this at Costco and it's avocado oil. Avocado oil and other alternative oils other than canola oil are so much better for you. If you guys didn't know, canola oil is like basically like the worst oil that you can ever get and ever put in your body. And it's basically in everything. Like if you look at the ingredients of something, it will have canola oil. It's because it's the cheapest type of oil but it's also very bad for you. So sometimes it's unavoidable when you buy some sort of food that has it already in it. But in terms of everyday, like day-to-day -day cooking, I try my best to use any alternative oil that's better for you. So this is just sourdough bread, by the way. I'm just gonna be putting some of this vegan butter on it. I honestly really like this one. And I don't really notice that big of a difference between real butter and vegan butter, so. Now I'm just going to be putting peanut butter over top of the butter because it just tastes so much better when your toast is buttered before you put peanut butter. Okay, so on only one of the slices, I'm gonna be putting banana because I feel like I'm gonna get too full if I do it for both slices. And then on top of that, I'm just gonna drizzle some honey. You guys know that this is my go-to. I've been obsessed with this recently. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon. Okay, so here is my breakfast. Just got two pieces of toast, did honey, cinnamon, banana, and then just scrambled eggs with kale inside. And I got some Frank's red hot sauce because I really like to have this with my eggs. And yeah, that's about it. The first meal of the day. Okay, so I just got to the grocery store because I need to pick up a couple of things. But I mainly wanted to come here to get raspberries because I have been dying, dying to try the... I think it got viral on TikTok probably like everything else does. But it's basically this raspberry matcha. And basically you mix like the milk with raspberries and then you put the matcha in and it just looks so good. I was like, since I'm filming a what I eat in a day, I feel like this is also a good time to try new recipes to tell you guys if this is good or not. So that's what we're doing because normally I would just make a normal matcha or a normal coffee or just like whatever I felt like having. I alternate between matcha and coffee, by the way. It just really depends on what I'm feeling. But anyways, I've been dying to dry this raspberry matcha. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go buy some raspberries because I feel like it's going to be so good anyways let's go you guys look at how pretty these flowers are i have to get some for my apartment because this will just brighten up this space it's they're so nice i'm debating between the pink and the orange but i think i might go for the pink Okay, so I just got out of the grocery store, but I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys before I head home. So basically, I've been really fortunate in my life and I've never had a problem with eating. I've never had a problem revolving around food. I've never had any sort of eating disorder. So I'm very lucky and fortunate that I never had to experience that. But I know that there's a lot of people out there that are going through something like that right now or have gone through that. And so I can't really speak on those subjects just because I have never been through it myself. So I don't really have the experience or knowledge to even talk about that since I've never been through it. But I did want to say that personally for me, eating 
a balanced diet is what works the best for me so i know that i do restrict myself from dairy but that's because i know that it doesn't work well with my body so it's not really like a thing that i'm yearning for like it's totally fine but other than that i do really just like to eat very balanced and i like to pick out sometimes like on the weekends i'll freaking eat like garbage foods and stuff that's like not so great for you and that's totally fine everything in moderation if you have a diet just full of healthy things and you never let yourself eat something unhealthy or sugary or whatever it is you are almost going to drive yourself a little bit miserable i feel like, like personally that's what would happen if i did that and then on the other side if you only ate bad stuff that wouldn't be good either and you would drive yourself crazy doing that as well having a balance of unhealthy plus healthy if you eat healthy throughout the day reward yourself with a little treat at night like that's personally what i love to do just finding what balance works best for you is honestly the best thing and if you guys see certain people's diets on the internet those diets may not work for your body and they may not satisfy what you want so it's always really important to realize that it's good to know yourself and good to know get to know your body and what works best for you because food is fuel it's literally fuel and it's what gets you through every single day and it's always so important to be also grateful for your food that you have in front of you because you don't know how many workers it took and how many farmers and stuff behind the scenes of getting that food into the grocery store into your plate but yeah so personally for me that's just what works best is having a balanced diet um, not totally restricting myself and eating 100% healthy and also not being on the other side of the spectrum either. Here's a mini grocery haul. I got two sets of bagels. I got plain and then cheese bagels. I know I just said that I like to stay away from dairy, but these just have my heart. <laughs> I just can't resist. And then I got raspberry coconut yogurt. I've never tried this before, but I've been craving yogurt recently. So I just wanted to kind of have this in the house. So whenever I'm craving like a snack, I can have this with this granola that I bought. And then I got raspberries, which is what I originally went there for. And I just got some cute tulips that I'm going to put in a vase right now. And then I got toilet paper and paper towel that I already put away, so yeah. raspberries on top to make it cute i'm so excited okay moment of truth that is so good this tastes like an expensive drink that you would get it's actually so good okay so before i make dinner i'm just gonna have a little snack so this is really random but last night we had pierogies so i'm just gonna eat the last three in here and then i'm just gonna cut up i think only like half of this bell pepper fun fact bell peppers have a an enormous amount of vitamin c in them and apparently they're really really good for your skin so if you guys aren't trying to improve your skin try eating yellow bell peppers because apparently it's really good for your skin and this is my little snack of the evening okay so here is the bell pepper i actually cut the whole thing up because half of it just wasn't enough and then i'm gonna have this with ranch i honestly love having bell peppers with ranch it's just so good and we got the pierogi and i've been filling this up throughout the day i think this is like my third um water now welcome to the dinner portion of this video so we're going to be making fish specifically cod with broccoli and rice that is my go-to meal having a protein rice and a vegetable that's just like the easiest for me personally to do and it's easy to stay consistent with it it's healthy you got all food groups in there and so that's what we're cooking tonight. I'm gonna try to do like a lemon garlic broccoli. I got the oven preheating at the moment for the fish. So since the broccoli is gonna take the least amount of time to cook, I'm gonna start the rice first while the oven is preheating because the fish only takes, I think around like 12 minutes. So that will cook fast. I 
I just cut up the garlic and the broccoli. Now I'm just gonna start the pan with some oil, heat it up, and then get it cooking. that I'm using it's from Meridian Meats and it's pre-flavored and spiced and everything at Meridian Meats they do like grass-fed so it's like a healthier kind of meat there so I really like their stuff and it just makes it super easy Okay, so here's the final product of dinner. I tasted the lemon garlic broccoli and it's so good. So what I did is I just cooked the broccoli with olive oil and garlic and then I just put lemon at the end and then salt. And it's so good and then got the fish and the rice. And this is like my go-to meal like I was saying, so good. Got some kombucha and we're gonna have a good dinner. Okay you guys, we are back in the kitchen. It is currently 10 o'clock and I'm going to have my nighttime ritual drink. So basically, this is not sponsored or anything, but I do have this every single night. Obviously there's nights where I don't, but like basically every single night. So what this is, is this is a adaptogen drink. If you guys don't know what adaptogens are, it's basically like a blend of like mushrooms, herbs, minerals, that are really good for you. They have so many benefits like clearing brain fog, reducing stress, increasing energy. And some adaptogens are also like known to cure cancer, prevent cancer, and like they just have a lot of good health benefits and it's straight from the earth. So it's just, I just make sure to have this and it's so good. Like I have been having this drink probably like for almost a year now every single night because it's just the perfect way to end off my night. I do have a code. I don't make commission off it or anything, but if you guys want to buy this, you guys can use the code. I basically just take a teaspoon of the powder. So this is actually called not coffee because it's supposed to be like replacing the caffeine, but naturally that coffee gives you. So I just put a teaspoon in. It even says on the front some of the mushrooms that it has, like shaga, ashwagandha, reishi, if you guys have ever heard of those before. They're becoming more mainstream now, but they were mostly used, I think, in like Chinese medicine and stuff. Okay, so I just add some boiling water to it. And then I'm just adding some oat milk to it. I'm gonna put this flavored creamer. This is the Khalifa Oat um, Dairy Free. Obviously, I just said oat, hazelnut creamer. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It actually looks like a coffee, which is funny. Mm, it's just like, I crave it at night now. It's like my nighttime drink that I have not gone without in so long, because it's just so good. So I was just snacking on these Karma Bites. They're popped lotus seeds, and they're supposed to be super healthy. I didn't actually buy these. Joel got them from a convention that he was at that had like a lot of samples of, from brands and stuff. So I was just sifting through his bag of what he got and i found these and i'm like oh let's try them out and they're actually really good a little bit spicy though so i can't have like too many at once but i'm just having this as a snack right now okay so before i finish off this video for the night i want to make some overnight oats just to switch up breakfast tomorrow morning just so it's like ready for me and i love overnight oats and i don't make them often enough but we're gonna make a little batch together before we end up with video Okay, so I'm just going to make half a cup. It's going to be a bit of a smaller batch. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to do another half cup of oat milk. Okay, now I'm just going to do just over half a teaspoon of cocoa powder. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon, just over a tablespoon of maple syrup. Okay, now I'm just going to pop this in the fridge. And tomorrow it'll be like the oats will soak up the milk and it'll be oatmeal. And I'm probably just gonna put like bananas and raspberries um, on it in the morning. Okay, you guys, that was the end of today's video. That was what I eat in a day slash 
some of my workouts that I like to do. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me and I appreciate you watching this video so much. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it and go follow me on Instagram. Try to promo that more. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave any video recommendations you guys have down below in the comments and I love you guys so much.